Good afternoon, everyone. U.S. cows and pigs eating bakery rolls as the corn price surges. USDA cutting corn yield estimates. Grain elevator speed mills and ethanol now charging high premiums for corn. Jumping back to the Chinese cattle ranching, Queensland had so many questions. How did the Chinese know it was going to get wet? Well, when you look back at charts just like this, the intertropical convergence zone shifting exactly over the same spots, they're going to be cattle ranching. It's nice to know cycles. And how prepared are you for emergencies and the crop losses in this grand solar minimum cycle? My Patriot Supply, two-week grab-and-go food crate with 92 servings or the four-week food supply. 252 servings, the link's in the description box below. And it's a great way to give yourself peace of mind for changes swiftly coming in the future. I'm going to start you off here. 60-day departure from normal precipitation. This ended the last week of June. Gives you a good indication of where the crops, when they were planted, were having much difficulty getting started. And since that point, it's just been baking weather or more floods. We take a look at the corn acreage loss risk. These are the predominant corn growing states. Wherever you see blue, losses. To the point now that the USDA is going to be updating the June figures that they put out. But you have to realize even in June, they still cut the corn yield estimates. All eyes are coming on the 12th for the new updated version. I think it's going to rattle the markets and we're going to see some upward prices in corn. That's just my opinion because they dropped the ball so badly on the last corn report that farmers and media called them out so heavily they went and resurveyed 12 different corn growing states. Look for massive changes. And if you hadn't been following with the floods, that's a turtle on the right over there. Gives you a good indication of how the USDA dropped the ball so badly and no accountability, and the same people are in the same positions. I hope they give us better data this time. Now, even before this corn report is released, grain elevators, feed mills, and ethanol plants are already offering huge premiums for corn to get it in their storage facilities. So many farmers struggling to plant the crops. And again, when this new USDA report is released next week, it is going to shake the foundations of agricultural pricing. Now, put it in perspective, before the price rises come, U.S. cows and pigs are gorging on bakery rolls and pet food as corn substitutes because corn prices are already surging pre-USDA adjusted report. This Ohio farmer right here, Jim Heimerl, 700,000 pigs swapping dry pet food. And in Minnesota, they're using recycled bakery byproducts, breads, cakes, and candies for 10% of the hog's rations. And you can see there's going to be a substitution frenzy going on. Now, this is an opportunity for you. Can you substitute something into the food supply chain as these corn prices go vertical with the new USDA reports out there? How can you help the farmers be more efficient feeding their animals? Zero Hedge picking it up as well. We're already starting to see rationing of our corn. The perfect storm could send spot prices higher. And they're also talking about U.S. farmers looking elsewhere for low-cost substitutes. Now, America's not the only place having difficulty this year. China, case in point. This whole saber-rattling, no more agricultural trade, and then the very next 12 hours, okay, trade deal's back on again. And this is a perfect example of a distraction. I mean, half the world that heard the news, China's going to cut off all agricultural imports from the United States. They probably didn't get the follow-up articles. So when you talk to them in six months, they'll say, oh, prices are up because China was doing something with American agriculture. Oh, you didn't get the memo that the trade deal was on 12 hours after they said it was off. Anyway, taking a look at the sale and shipment of pork to China. The bottom red dot, dot, dot line is the three-year average. That solid red line is where China is, 4X, almost above the average. Swine flu decimating pork. And they're trying to play games like, oh, we don't need your food. The army worm ravaged crops in China. They're looking at a full 35% loss of their corn crop this year across China. And wherever you look, there are distractions. But again, it would make sense that China was going out looking for other areas to produce food. I tagged on this article the day before yesterday about 50,000 cows. Chinese are going to start cattle ranching in a drought area now, northern Queensland, right here on the map for you, yellow pin. 
And as I was explaining through the article, I said, these drainage basins here are going to start filling up, especially on the west down to the edge of the circle there. That is going to come in right to a river basin that will begin to fill. And uh, there were so many questions on how did they even know or how could you even anticipate that these areas that are in drought would refill again? And I said, oh, let me take you to my new report. Winter is coming. I even had this as a slide, how the Indonesian and Northern Australian intertropical convergent zone patterns shift during a grand solar minimum, bringing more rainfall. Now, who would have known that except people who study cycles? Winter is coming, cycles of change and transition. Any of you who are supporting me on Subscribestar and Patreon, I've already delivered this to your email box. Please check for the presentation along with the MP3 that accompanies the 112 slides. And those of you who are interested in purchasing the report, along with the MP3, the link's in the description box below, as well as links to Climate Revolution, my new book. I've been busy these last couple of months putting out content, and it all has incredible relevance as we move deeper into the grand solar minimum, so you can see the geopolitical and the economic plays and why apparently random happenstance is going on across the planet. Eh, not really, if you understand the cycles. It's more like a chess piece being positioned for the changes.